Hello, this is John Sims with the Advised Serviceability Engineering Team. In this video, we'll cover how to generate and then manually install the Avaya Aura System Manager Management Certificate on the Avaya B5800 Branch Gateway. Before we get started, first a little background. Starting in 6.2 for Avaya B5800 Branch Gateway, a chain of trust trust relationship is required between System Manager and B5800 in which B5800 will trust System Manager through the establishment of accepting a signed management certificate generated from System Manager's built-in certificate authority. As an alternate to using simple enrollment protocol known as SCEP procedure, this certificate can also be manually generated on System Manager, then exported and then imported into the B5800 Trusted Certificate Store. Once the certificate is imported, trust is then established between System Manager and the B5800 in that System Manager will have explicit management rights of the trusting B5800. This trust relationship is not optional when System Manager is deployed and B5800 must be a part of the System Manager trust domain. The procedure I'm about to demonstrate may prove to be quite useful when staging and deploying a large number of B5800s in advance of the customer network being fully ready to support the SCEP procedure. So as you see here, we've logged into System Manager and we've greeted with the front management page and I'm heading to the security subpages. Once we're in the security subpages, I'm going to then select certificates and once certificates and loads for us, where I'm going to select the authority. Our goal here is to first create an end entity. So I'll head to add end entity. And remember, an end entity is required for each B1500 system. I'm going to first name the entity based on the B1500 system name as good practice. Then I'm going to enter a password, which is a password for the certificate and is also used as our SCEP password when using SCEP. I'll then, for the common name, again sync up with the system name of the B1500 as good practice. And then I'll click the Add End Entity button at the bottom of the page. And you'll see at the top of the page, we have End Entity Sims B1500, which is again our system name, added successfully. Our next step in the process is to head to the bottom of the page to Public Web. That's going to launch a new page into the Enterprise Java Bean Certificate Authority of the System Manager. And we're going to make use of the Crete Key Store function. As you see there in the middle of the page, you can read about the Crete Key Store function, which will allow us to save a generated key store in PEM format to your disk. We can export it and then import it into your browser. If we click on Crete Key Store, it'll give us the certificate enrollment page which we marry up to our certificate name and then the password that was assigned to it when creating the add end entity in the previous step and it's detected that we're trying to import into our Mozilla otherwise known as Firefox browser so we're going to allow that to occur because once in Firefox we can manage this certificate so I'll leave it on high grade which is, which is a um, 2048 bit and then we'll leave it on ID client server which is our only option I'll select OK you'll see that it's generating in process and then your personal certificate has been installed you should create a backup copy of this certificate I'll click OK so now that we've done this we now have the certificate successfully installed in the Mozilla browser for which we can export so I'm going to hit F11 to get us out of full screen mode on Firefox and I'll slide over into Firefox options options and in, it comes right up on advanced for me but I wanted to point that on the, t on the toolbar options it's advanced and we'll do go to view certificate and you see the certificate we've just imported again the Sims B1500 certificate now you have the option to make a backup copy of the certificate but as you see here that generates a PKS file and the PKS file is not helpful to us with B1500 as far as importing so I'll click cancel so keep in mind we don't want to run backup instead we want to click on view to view the certificate now if we head to the details tab of the certificate you'll see at the bottom and I'll click that now you will see at the bottom we have an export option 
So I'll click on the export option and you'll see there that we can then save the certificate as CRT or PEM format. So instead of saving though as the default CRT file, I'm going to show you a little trick for B5800 importing. We actually don't want the .CRT format. So before I click save, I'm going to head up and rename the certificate to .CER format. That is what is suitable for importing into the B5800, which I'll show you. So we've saved that to our local file system, and I'll close out of this view certificate. So our next step is to import this certificate into the B5800. So in the manager application, I'm heading to advanced security settings. And as you see here, I'm going to log in on the security side and pull a security configuration into the manager client. We will get a quick warning here that we're set for all default passwords. We'll hit OK to that. And now once in the configuration, I'm going to head to System and Certificates tab. And you see we have a default system. It's evident right away because our identity cert name is based on B1500 and the MAC address of the system. I'm going to delete that. It will give us a warning about delay of response. And then I'm going to enter our new common name, Sims B1500, which we use to create the certificate. And that's actually matching my system name as well. Now I'm going to change certificate checks to medium on management interfaces. That's so the B1500 actually makes use of this management certificate. And you'll see we already have a SIP product certificate authority in the trusted certificate store from a recent upgrade. I'll click the add button and we're going to import certificate from file importing our newly created and exported certificate from system manager. So I'll head to where the location is of this .cer file, simsb1500.cer and then I'll simply select that file and import that file. And you see it's instantly imported into the trusted certificate store named as our common name, SimsB1500. So I'm going to actually select this file and then once I select it, I, can, I have a view option and I'll click on the view option and I'll slide this to the middle of the screen here. And if I select details, we can see that it is in fact the exported system manager management certificate that we've now imported into the trusted certificate store of the B5800. So I'll click OK to close this view certificate window down. And then I'll click OK to the configuration form on the lower right corner. And then the only thing left to do is to save up this configuration save up these security parameters into the B5800, which I do there. And this completes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.